Okay, this bed here, we just recently pulled the tarp off and raked um, loose straw that we had on top of it during occultation. Uh, the stuff that didn't rot and we pushed it off to the side. We're going to plant our winter dianthus in this bed. And this bed has only been in occultation, kind of the rotation of no-till for just a couple of years. So the soil isn't as good as, say, some of our other beds, but it's definitely improving. And just to kind of give you an example, we can, this is no tillage to it whatsoever, but you can see the soil. It's got a nice texture to it, very easily breaks apart. It's retaining quite a bit of moisture. This hasn't been watered probably since we put the tarp on back in uh, early August. So this was a very heavy clay, and now you can just easily, it's almost, and there's even a worm. We got some worms. Um, very easy to plant in. So we're going to top dress this with uh, some minerals uh, like a basalt rock powder and um, probably uh, some extra oyster shell for calcium and, and then uh, throw down some cottonseed meal uh, for a nitrogen source and, and then put a half inch compost. Uh, we've already started on that end and then we'll be ready to plant. Um, this soil had no tillage to it whatsoever. The only thing that we did do to it uh, before we tarped is we ran a broad fork through it. And so, just to give you an example, you can get, you know, a fairly nice seed bed. If you rake this a little harder, the top half inch or so will be just perfect for planting. So, just wanted to show this is, uh, this is a bed in transition. In a couple of years, uh, it'll be almost like potting soil. And in the depth, uh, what we have found on the beds that we have been uh, doing this for, after about four years, we can get 16 to 20 inches of, of uh, really uncompacted soil underneath. Um, it takes a little more work, but not as much as you think. If you look at our video of just tarping our buckwheat crop down, you can see it can move pretty fast. Thanks for watching today.